Welcome to my let's play of The Elder Scrolls Oblivion with the OOO mod installed. Now, I was on my way to start the Dark Fissure observation for the Mages Guild and I figured I'd drop in on Carbo's camp along the way, not realising it was a bandit camp. I made a slight error in judgement and got attacked by a bunch of bandits, which was not part of my plan. So, I'm now on my way to Dark Fissure, Fissure, the place where the Mages Guild want me to go, assuming I can actually get there, because it's a hard climb up a mountain, apparently. Though I seem to have found a bit of a pathway. Okay, I found the place. Now, depending if I found the right day of the week to do this, does depend on this. It's a necromancer's camp, so in theory, if I can get to where I need to go, preferably without being spotted, and that is a big if right now. Okay, in theory I can sneak up to here and look down on the wonderful altar there and if I pick the right day in about 50 minutes game time a necromancer will come out and start doing things if I pick the wrong day to do this and I'm not entirely sure if I pick the right day but I'm kind of hoping the full moon up there means it is actually the right day well, I'm assuming it's a full moon not a planet then if I've got the right day he'll come out if I've got the if I got lucky if not all I have to do is go in the cave and start slaughtering necromancers and there's one with a note on him I think and that will equally do the quest so I will give them another 27 minutes to come out and do whatever it is they do with their altar as I look around the countryside, it's very pretty. Lots of trees. But yes, I just thought I'd jump into Carbo's camp thinking there's nothing there of any consequence, it won't be a fight. And I was surprised by five bandits. So I wasn't recording at that point, I was just on my way here so I could get to this point and say the things I've just said. I hadn't expected to be beaten up along the way. That wasn't part of my plan. But this is one of the less exciting quests to do because it literally is in five minutes in the game time either some necromancer will pop his head out and do something and hopefully he won't spot me and if I back up a little bit further it might help however if I'm wrong I just go in there and kill a couple of people and either way will work like I said, I wasn't expecting a fight along the way, otherwise I'd have been recording it earlier when I jumped into Carbo's camp and almost got my head handed to me. I saw five people there and looked at them and went, oh, okay, there's Pete, and they all drew, drew weapons and started beating on me like I was a rented mule. Yeah, just that. Okay, it's gone midnight. Well, that's the altar. I don't know if they count as the heavenly lights. I'm thinking it's possibly not the right time of the week. I don't see any heavenly lights up above. Just that wonderful, wonderful moon. Which is very pretty. But no, it doesn't appear that a necromancer is coming out. And we got 12.37. Give them a short while longer while I admire the moon. But it's just not looking good. 
That really is rather pretty. Never really paid attention to that before. No necromancers, you can have till 1am 1 1 and then I'm coming in after you. I could sit here for quite a while and admire that if I felt like it. Sometimes games just do things so very, very well. And that's one thing they've done very, very well, is that, that backdrop. Hmm. Okay, you've had till 1am. I haven't seen a necromancer. So let me... Drink a potion of light. So I can see what I'm doing. Let me go kick the living daylights out of a necromancer. Yeah, you. Show me what you, want. you and the horse you rode in on. Right, I think this is the guy I'm looking for. Handwritten note. Take your soul gems while I'm here. Right. I have found evidence of necromancers creating black soul gems at the Dark Fissure Cave, as well as other altars throughout Cyrodiil. I need to get this information to Raminus Polis at the Arcade University. Yes, it is a lot easier if you just stand outside and watch them. But, apparently this wasn't the right day for that. So being a nice person that I am, I just thought I'd come inside and slaughter them. Just, there's nothing in the altar currently. So if I go read the is it handwritten note? This one? To the anchorites. Place your grand soul gems in the altar. Pray for his blessing, then strike the altar with your soul trap magic, your gems will become instruments of his divine power. It's essentially how you create black soul gems. And then when you kill a person, you can capture their soul and put it in the black soul gem. So, in theory, now all I'm meant to do is go back to the Imperial City Univers Arcane University. Tell them this good news, and that will complete that quest. Ah! You must be the Arcane University's newest edition. Apart from Raminus isn't around, of course. Where's Raminus? He over here sleeping, I guess. Why is he over here sleeping? Because yes. he's lazy. I'm up fighting necromancers and... Good to see you. He sat in his... Uh, lying in his bed in his mages' quarters. Disgustingly lazy individual. Apparently he's chosen a different bed from the last time I came in here. Have you been to the Dark Fissure yet? We need to know all we can about the Necromancers. Necromancers? So you saw them? The altars must be infused with some kind of power to change over the soul gems. I shall pass the news on to the Council. Most troubling indeed to know that these are not merely myths. I also fear their numbers may be greater than we believed. You have again performed admirably. You have my thanks, and that of the Council as well. Advancement. You are conjurer no more. Guild members shall now address you as magician. Congratulations. Yeah, I bet someone sold the Breville jailbreakers down the river. How else could the Fighters Guild have found their hideout? Task. Seek out Archmage Traven. He has personally requested that you see him for your next assignment. Okie dokie. Goodbye. How are you today? So I've been promoted once again as far as the Mage's Guild is concerned. Greetings. And now the Archmage personally wants to see me. 
As he should, I'm one of his better people. You choose to share your time with me? You humble me. Try the council chambers, see if he's in here. Hello! Have you ever shopped at Rindir's? I've never bought one there, but I've heard... Let me go to his quarters then, if he wants to see me. There he is. Greetings. It is high time that we met face to face, don't you think? Raminus has told me good things about you. You have advanced quickly and show great promise. I now intend to put your talents to a more direct test. I have a difficult task that you can perhaps assist with. Tasks? Are you prepared to begin? Without knowing what it is, I'll go with yes. Very good. Let me explain what is at stake. The Council of Mages has been aware of the increased necromancer activity in Cyrodiil for some time. It had been our position to sit back and watch what unfolded, but that time has clearly passed. We cannot tolerate these attacks on the Guild. Most of our information on the necromancers has come from an informant inside the cult itself, a Guild member who offered to infiltrate their ranks. You have someone on the inside? Yes, and we have for quite some time. Though the information he has provided is limited, it has given us a sense of their scope and power. The Council was initially reluctant to believe the information was reliable, but with recent events they have little choice but to trust it. I fear that our informant is in danger, and that is why I have called you here. Who is the informant? Lucianus Elias. He is not a council member, but has long served the Guild here at the Arcane University. Aware of the growing interest in the Guild after the ban on necromancy was put into place, he offered to help the council track the cult's actions. With my blessing, he infiltrated the group, and has fed us information for quite some time, until recently. I have not heard from him, and I fear for his safety. Go on. The lack of reports from Eucianus has disturbed the Council, and they are now concerned about the legitimacy of his information. A group of battle mages were dispatched to Eucianus's last known location with the intent of bringing him in for questioning. I argued against it, but eventually agreed to maintain order in the Council. I regret that decision, and that is why I wish to send you there. What am I supposed to do? I fear the battle mages may mistreat Musianus if they do not mistake him for one of the many necromancers no doubt present in the ruins. I wish for you to find Musianus and ensure his safe return to the Arcane University. I do not want anything to go wrong. Please hurry. The battle mages will arrive there soon, if they have not already, and time is of the essence. If for any reason they are unsuccessful, Musianus's life will be in forfeit. You must make sure he is safe. Go now, and bring word to me as soon as he has been escorted to safety. Where do I need to go? Musianus last reported being sent to the ruins of Nenyon Twill, south of the Imperial City. That is where the battle mages went. South of the White Rose River, nearly halfway to the border of elsewhere. I'm afraid I know nothing more about the location or what you may expect to find once you arrive. Very well. Thank you. Know that I would not ask such a thing of you if I did not feel it was urgent, or that it was beyond your capabilities. I shall await your return. Well, while I'm here... Imperial Before City. the Arcane University was founded in the Second Era, Crystal Tower on Somerset Isle was the source of all magical learning. Since then, the Imperial City has been Tamriel's foremost magical research centre. We must. What can be said about taxes? They're high, but we must pay. At least they are administered efficiently, and the shrinkage is within decent limits. Great euphemism, that one. Shrinkage, in other words, theft. Kenyon Twill awaits you. Return with Musianus as quickly as possible, so I may settle the Council's fears. Okay. Make haste.
Lucianus is in danger. Yes, he says make haste, but there is actually no haste. You can get Hi to there. these things Hello. whenever you want to. And to be honest, I don't want to do that right now. Ah, you must be the Arcane University's newest addition. So now I've reached my goal. I've fenced over 2,000 golds worth of goods. I should go see Screever. Sometimes she might have something for me. She's down there? I thought she was based in Preville. Why would she be down there? Ah, okay. I'm going to Preville. That's normally where she hangs out. Is she home? She's home, apparently. Her door's unlocked, so she must be home. What can a humble doyen do for a sly thief? Thieves Guild special jobs. I have a small problem that you may be able to help with. The guild will even pay a reward. That buffoon, Hieronymus Lex, has invaded the Imperial City waterfront. Imperial watch guards from all over the city prowl the streets. How bad is it? Hieronymus Lex has vowed not to leave until the Grey Fox is in custody. The Fox is safe, but the Thieves' Guild cannot do business like this. The poor of the waterfront are kindred to the Grey Fox and will not betray him. However, cubs soon get hungry. Soon someone will break. Many guild members could be jailed. Find Methrodil in the Imperial City. She is coordinating the guild's response. Okay. Works for me. Shadow hide the hunter. So find Methrodil in the Imperial City. Oh, let's make that my active quest, so I've got a clue of where I'm going. Okay, let's try the Talos Plaza district. See if I can find a beggar to talk to. They're normally a good source of information. Yeah, I've got a wonderful green arrow. That's because there's a beggar standing right out in the open. I'm so hungry. Methodel. Oh, sh she is hiding in... Denari Annis's house over in the Talos Plaza district. <laughs> She's one of the few that escaped when Lex invaded the waterfront. Okay. Is that why I am? I mean, Blessings of Julianus. I am in the right district. Me. That was just a guess. That appears to be the house I'm meant to look for. Welcome to my hideout. It's good to see you. Great I didn't think much about him when I first joined the Thieves' Guild. Lately I've been hearing odd things, though. That grey cowl he wears was stolen from Nocturnal herself. Can you imagine having the nerve to steal from a Diedrich Lord? Waterfront invasion. These are foul times for us. Armand is under house arrest again. Our business in the waterfront is totally shut down. We need to get Hieronymus Lex to lift his siege. I have put together a plan. What is your plan? You and four other operatives will stage high-profile thefts all at the same time. Hopefully, that will force Lex to reassign the Watchmen. Your target is the Arcane University. We've had our eye on Rormir's staff for some time, but have been waiting for the wizards to be distracted. This is the perfect time. Will you help us? I will help. I knew the Grey Fox could count on you. The staff is in the Archmage's room. He sleeps between one and seven in the morning. Take this note. Leave it in his nightstand. Bring me the staff when you get it. Okay. It's like I'm going back to the Arcane Shadow University. I hide you. 
Can I read the note from the grey fox they just gave me? It seems that security in the arcane university is not what it used to be. In fact, this seems that seems to be a problem all over the Imperial City. I would recommend you get your guards back on duty unless you want more of your precious artifacts to go missing. The Grey Fox. Okie dokie. Well, the Arcane University I know well. All the battle mages appear to have disappeared. Hello there. Uh, it says between 1 and 7 in the morning, so if I wait... Oh, I should have waited 9 hours, not 8. Can't count. Wait another. I'll wait two hours. Okay. Let me go upstairs. There he is, nicely asleep. This is the ice staff. I just need to leave a note in the nightstand. Is that the nightstand? Slid the note into the Archmage's nightstand. Now to get the staff back to Methridel. Greetings to you. That's the nice thing about Good being so you. well regarded by the Mages Guild. Is the people upstairs didn't raise a fuss. So now if I head back to the Talos Plaza district. Curious what this ice staff actually does. Frost damage, light, and chameleon. Okay. Not really sneaking around much at the moment, so let's have some light. What is it, citizen? Stubborn fetcher. Situation. I'm glad you're here. We have work to do. Call me as ice staff. Do you have the ice staff? Of course I do. Excellent. Yours is the last item on the list. Now we just wait for the powers that be to pull the plug on Hieronymus Lex's siege. What do we do while we wait? Good question. I want you to spy on Hieronymus Lex. Make sure you stay close enough to overhear any conversations. Sooner or later they will order him to return the guards to their original posts. When that happens, come and tell me. Okay. Shadow hide you. Indeed, Shadow hide me. Now let me go to the Imperial City waterfront. Where well, good old Hieronymus should be hanging out. I have an arrest warrant for the Grey Fox. Do you know where he is? Of course I don't know where he is. Never met the man. Just make sure I've got the... Right. He should be somewhere on the waterfront. Grey Fox is hiding nearby. What do you know I have an arrest warrant for the Grey Fox? I'm looking for the Grey Fox. Do you know where he is? What can you tell me? Well, okay, I'm close enough to... Alright, that's Hieronymus Lex over there. Holding a torch, looking off to the right. Big on, mortal! So, the mages send a foul Daedra to deliver a simple note when an honest footman would have done. How typical. Carry on, soldier. Alright, men. We've been ordered back to our posts. I smell the dirty hand of the grey fox behind this. While spying on Hieronymus Lex, I saw a Demora delivered a note to him. Lex has begun moving his watchman out of the waterfront. Think this is the signal for me to report back to Methodel. Lex dropped that note. I wonder if I can find it. It's 
It's you. Hieronymus Lex, your vendetta against the Grey Fox has cost the Arcane University dearly. You commandeered the guards patrolling our property. In their absence, someone stole a valuable artifact from the university. We demand that you return all guards to their posts immediately. If you do not do this, we will be forced to bring the matter to the attention of your superior. Raminus Polis, the Arcane University. The hero of Kavach. This is truly an honor. Ah. Okay. Now I go back to the Imperial City Talus Plaza. I'm doing my yo-yo impression again. Go here, go there, go here, go there. Hello there. What is it, citizen? And into this wonderful house. Greetings to you. Well met. Talk I'm glad Bethlehem. you're here. We have work to do. Hieronymus Lex. He's been ordered to evacuate the waterfront? Excellent! I have one last task for you. As a sign of good faith, the Thieves' Guild needs to return Roromir's ice staff to the Arcane University. However, the wizards are not to be trusted. I'm sure they are watching for us to put it back where you got it. They would have no qualms about killing you once they had the ice staff back. Instead, I want you to put Rormir's ice staff into Antus Vainen's safe chest. He keeps one in his home. Antus is a former university researcher. Then you Reedy pay me? bastard, aren't you? I like that in a thief. You'll have to see Screva about that. I'm just running the scam. I better get paid. Shadow hide you. Okay, now where am I going? Okay, still in the Imperial City Plaza District, apparently. Gotta find this guy's house. Or I'm meant to dump the staff in. Well met. I'm guessing it would be this one. Okay, just in case everything goes wrong at this point. Oh, quick, 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 quick save. If I can break into this house. Yes, now is his staff is his place Sorry, his um wonderful chest upstairs or downstairs. He's asleep and it appears to be up here somewhere. Right there. I planted the ice staff in the chest in Ontis' Ontis's bedroom. I should go see Screever and collect my reward. Also, steal, steal some stuff while I'm here. Gold pitcher. Gold tankard. What the heck while I'm here? books are really worth anything. Like the ceramic plates. Alright, I got a couple of things out of it. Here's what's in the cupboard. Nothing of import. Okay. That's some stuff. That's also me hurt, silenced, and paralyzed. Okay, okay, at least I can now heal myself. Didn't appreciate that. I didn't think someone would have a trapped chest inside their own home. But, not my fault. He's a suspicious old man. Be in here? Oh, good, the door's open. I can get paid. What can a humble doyen do for a sly thief? Pay me. Hieronymus, Hieronymus Lex. Lex has left the waterfront. 
Well done. Methrodel's report tells me that you have done well. You have earned your reward. I am promoting you to Cat Burglar, which means you can use Luciana Galena of Breville as your fence. Congratulations on your new rank. Okay. Oh, good, I got 300 gold out of it. Shadow, hide the hunter. So, I've got to find my new fence. While I'm here, let's have some light. I don't know where Luciana Bravana is, but I do know. I can bring up a map of Breville. Vermoy, Angolins, Rainolins, City Swimmers, Screeber's House. They're not private houses. Uh, Locks, Henitors. It's a Skooma Den. Okay, it's not something you've run into very often. Kind of hoping she might be in a pub, to be honest. Either that or Luciana Galena's house. All the way over the other side of the bridge. With all that stuff I just stole from the chest, I can dump on this fence rather than go to Bruma. I'll try the pub first. Hello there. Oh, Magli are still in here. I don't see her in there, so let's see if I can find her house. It's somewhere down towards the end of here. Guessing possibly that's a house for sale. Maybe she's upstairs. Do I really want to break into my fence's house? I'll try it. If my fence but come to me, I will go to her. And she's not in. Where is she? Is it too much to ask me ask to be able to find a fence? And you need one? I didn't check the upstairs of the pub. She could be in the other pub for all I know. Morning. Well, you're not Luciana whatever her name was. That's a locked door. I really don't want to start breaking doors in this place. Don't know you. How goes it? A city guard. She's not in the Majors Guild, is she? She's not part of the Majors Guild. That would be illogical. Hello there. Hi. Just because yes. it's illogical. What's new with you? Doesn't mean I it's hear the not legions true. have been recalled from Fort Swamp. Okay. Maybe I'll be find Luciana Galena in well the film. Met. Maybe I won't. Just while I'm here, I'd like to be able to get rid of the stuff I'm carrying. It's stolen. Hi there. Well, that certainly isn't Luciana Galena. Locked door. Locked door. Oh. Ah, uh, it wasn't mean to pick that lock. Okay. How did I get up here? Okay, I want to go back. Ah, door right in front of me. How blind I was. Well, I can't find my fence. Ah, mercy. So on that happy note, I will end this episode with the frustration of not being able to find my fence. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you down the road for more episodes of The Elder Scrolls Oblivion with the OO mod installed. Au revoir.